Hey, Dagogo here, and I just want to welcome you to another Cold Fusion video. And today I'm actually going to show you guys how to get this on your home screen. It's some interesting stuff. Enjoy, guys. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Every time you take your device out of your pocket, the lock screen is the first thing you set your eyes upon. Why can't lock screens be simple, easy on the eye, and practical at the same time? Let's change that now. The lock screen you're about to make is based off Widget Locker. Swipe to the right to access key apps and swipe to the left to get straight to the camera. It's practical without the clutter. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need to download some apps. These apps are all free from the Play Store. The first app is Widget Locker, the actual basis of the lock screen. The second app is Ultimate Custom Widget. This is where the large square clock comes from. To get the actual clock skin, type in AIM7 in Google Play and download as indicated. And finally, we need to download minimalistic text for the written clock underneath the square clock. So once you've downloaded and installed all those apps, open up Widget Locker. Click on the top right and you'll enter the menu. Within Widget Locker, go to the first category, Buttons and Inputs. Under this section, make sure these two options are selected. Exit out of that and click on Look and Feel. All the remaining steps within Widget Locker will be within the Look and Feel category. Go into Look and Feel, make sure Alternative Wallpaper is unchecked, and then click on Background Tint. Adjust the background tint as follows. This just makes for better readability on lighter backgrounds. Exit out of the background tint, and below it, click on Layout. For the layout, make the grid 12x12 for the finest level of adjustment. If you want your lock screen to operate in landscape, you can click on screen orientation and adjust it from there. And finally, make sure you tick these last two options. So once this is done, we long press on the home screen and it's time to add our widgets. So we scroll down to widgets and click on minimalistic text and then we'll just do a 4x1 horizontal layout. Just click create and within minimalistic text, Make sure the background option is unchecked. After that, go to the text style tab along the top and click on the accented text. Make sure bold is unchecked. So once you click OK and exit the app, you should have a clock exactly like mine. So it's time to move on to the big square clock. So once again, click on the home screen widget and do the 4x4 layout. Click on create and scroll down to whichever clock you want. I'm just going to use the white one, and you can resize as desired. So we're almost there. The last part is that unlock slider. To get the unlock slider, we long press and then click on custom slider. Click on the last option, get themes with the XDA in brackets. Open it with your favorite browser. You'll be greeted with this web page. Click on the middle link as indicated. Just simply download the file, there might be a few pages that you have to go through, but the final link is in Mediafire. Don't worry, the file is completely safe. On the final Mediafire link, when prompted, complete the action with Widget Locker. Once it's downloaded, go to your notification bar and click on the file. This will open up Widget Locker, and then you'll have your custom slider right there. Uncheck Show Clock and click Done on the top left. Now you have your custom slider. All you have to do is just resize and place it where you want. By the way, if any of you are new here and you're wondering about this uh, 3D interface, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can follow the tutorial for that. So there you have it. A nice, clean, minimalistic lock screen that looks great and is functional too. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you've learnt something. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up and even subscribe if you want to. And if you know anyone personally that's actually just sick of the way their phone looks, pass this video on to them. I'm sure it will help them out. Cheers guys and I'll see you again soon for the next one. Oh yeah, and if any of you guys want some lock screen notifications, I'll leave a bunch of apps in the description below. Enjoy!